So hello everyone. In this video, we will solve an example of market basket analysis. Okay, we need these formulas for solving the question. So support. So support of x and y means after buying x, does anyone buy item y? Okay. Is number of transactions containing items at x and y upon total number of transaction and Support for x is number of transaction which contain item x upon total number of transaction and confidence confidence of item x and y is support of x and y upon support of x and lift uh, lift of x and y is support of x and y upon support of x into support of y and support of x y upon support of x is confidence only so we write it as confidence of x y upon support of y okay so let us solve this question now so the following database has four transactions t1 a b c d t2 c b e f d t3 e b d f and t4 d b c okay and we have the question like find support and confidence support and confidence for the following rules okay so let us do for the a and d item set okay so let us write it down so support of number of transaction which contains item set x and y so item set a and d so let us write it first so support so number of transaction which contains item set x and y means which are transaction had a and d we have to write that down so it is only t1 so 1 upon Total number of transactions are 4. So this is 25% support. Okay. So now confidence. Confidence is support of XY item set upon support of X item set. So support of A and D item set upon support of A. Okay. So A and D we will directly write from above that is 1 by 4. And confidence is for transaction which contains only item set x that is a and that is only 1 so 1 by 4 confidence equal to 100 percent they have not asked for lift but then also let us solve it out okay so lift equals to confidence upon support so before proceeding to the b and c item set let us do the lift so lift equals to confidence upon support okay and we have the confidence as 100% and we have the support as 25% which is equal to 4 okay so we have lift as 4 now let us proceed ahead for item set b and c so support of item set b and c and inside this we have to check for the number of transaction which contains b and c both as you can see from the formula so b and c are in three transactions out of the four we have the total number of transaction as four over here you can see t1 t2 t3 and t4 so this is 75 percent so we have 75 percent support for b and c data set now let us write for confidence so confidence is support upon support of first item set that is B. So support of B which is total number of transaction which contains the item set B. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 by 4. So this is equal to 3 by 4 which is 75%. Okay. So now let us calculate the lift also. So lift which is equal to confidence upon support. So let us write it down. So lift equals to confidence upon support, which is equal to 75% upon 75%. You can write it as 3 by 4 upon 3 by 4. That is 1 and the same. And we have the answer as 1. So let us do for item set C and B. So support. It is number of transaction which contains both the items. C and B. So 1, 2, 3. Okay. So we have only 3 over here and 
total number as 4. So this is 75% support. Now for confidence, support upon support of C, the first item set. So C, 1, 2, 3. So 3 by 4. Now we got it as 100%. That is 1. You can write it as 1 but we always go for the percentage values. So let us write it down. Now we will calculate the lift. So lift equals to confidence upon support which is equal to 100% upon 75%. That is 4 by 3 and which comes out to be 1.33. Okay. 1333. So let us write this first. So we have 100% upon 75%. You can just stop over here or you can proceed ahead by writing the 1.33. Let me just okay enlarge this. So this comes out to be 1.33. Okay. So let us do for data set that after buying A and B, someone bought D also. So let us go for support. So support means the transaction which contains all of these that is A, B, D. So first one and only one over here that is in the T1 because we have number of transaction which contains item set X and Y. So A, B and D contains in only one transaction. So 1 by 4 for because the total number of transaction. So this comes out to be 25%. Now let us go for confidence and confidence is support of a b d data set upon support of x support of x means support of a b so support of a b okay first item set that is a b so now one it is only in one transaction so one by four so one by four upon one by four is hundred percent only so we have confidence as hundred percent now let us calculate the lift so lift is equal to confidence upon support so we have the confidence as 100% and we have the support as 25% so this comes out to be 4 okay so you can see now let us do for item set c d and b that means after buying c and d item set can someone buy item b so let us calculate the support Support means in numerator we have to have the transaction which are having all set are C, D and B. So 1, 2 and 3. So we have 3 transaction. So 3 by 4. 4 because we have the total number of transaction as 4. So this comes out to be 75%. Okay. So let us calculate the confidence now. So confidence is support of C, D and B data set upon support of C, D. So we have to calculate the support of CD now. So support of CD means the number of transactions which are containing the value CD. So in T1, yes, T2 and T4. So we have three transactions. So 3 by 4, which will be giving me 100%, means 100% confidence. So now let us calculate the lift. So lift equals to confidence upon support. So support and this comes out to be 100% upon 75%. You can write the fraction value or you can just directly write it like this. This comes out to be 1.33. Okay. So, okay. So here was a program for market basket analysis where we calculated the support and confidence. We just have to know the formulas for these so that we can solve this type of question okay so thank you guys for watching the video do like share and subscribe also comment down below if you are having any doubts or you want me to make video on a particular topic and if you want to access complete video series on a particular programming language then go to my playlist section or you can just go in the description of this video and click the playlist link and if you practice those with me, even if you are from a non-coder background, you can become a pro programmer for sure. So, see you all in the next video. Till then, 
Study more, worry less and all the best for your upcoming exams. Bye-bye.